Better keep walking like this till we get to the bus. We're so late. I know. Why did we still play playing cards and joking around? We probably overslept because of that. I hope we get to school soon enough. Yeah, I... Baraka! Hello, neighbor. We're off to school now. Make yourself welcome. Slots are still open. I mean, it's not like our school is super big or anything, but I'm sure there's enough space for you. Baraka! Back from school, my neighbor. Hmm, I see you're about to make some leaf salad, eh? That must taste, uh, good. Well, I guess I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> Sorry. My guess is you won't be invited to taste a salad anytime soon, little bro. Maybe just be patient and she'll come around. After all, patience is another virtue of Utu, so this may be the best time to put that into practice. Good morning, class. Before we start our lesson, let me introduce a new class member to you. Her name is Taba Sam. Say hello, everyone. Hello, Tabasamo. Oh, she's shy. She's not shy. She's deaf. Does anyone know what it means to be deaf? Yes, I see a hand there. Deafness is not having the ability to hear. When someone is deaf, that means that they are not able to hear, but they can do other amazing things just like other people with other disabilities can. For example, I am reading about this iconic man called Stephen Hawking, who was a brilliant scientist. He never let the motor neuron disease he was diagnosed with get in his way. Or like Nuru, from our very own Kokotoa Primary School, who is an amazing dancer. His wheelchair moves are super cool. That's right. So, let's give her a warm welcome. Welcome, welcome Tabasam. Yes? How does it happen? Or what causes someone to be unable to hear? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, one can be born with deafness if they inherit it from their parents through genes. But sometimes, one can become deaf later in life from different reasons, like the side effects of certain medications, for example. In Tabasam's case, she was born with it, but... She can read lips and understand when you motion with some gestures to her. So, she will be sitting in the front so that she can read my lips clearly. One of the many cool things about her is she uses a very interesting language called sign language. I'm sure you can learn it and other amazing things from her. Oh, oh, I want to learn the sign language. Can she show us how to sign her name? Ha, Tabasam, your new friends want to know how to sign your name. Can you show them? Oh, welcome, Tabasam. I have also allowed Nina to join our class today because this week we are challenging a few students from different classes to interact with other classes and learn and share knowledge together. Come and introduce yourself, Nina. Hello. I'm really excited to join your class today. Welcome, Nina. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, Welcome Nina. Nina. Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yay! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. Only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today. The only place you can watch, sing, read, Play and learn with all your favorite Obongo characters. What are you waiting for? Available in English, Kiswahili, French, Hausa, and more.